Stories are hot right now. Uh, recently, I've reviewed Content Reel, I've reviewed Restory. Uh, those were super popular products. And today I got something new, uh, which is called Story, uh, which is a different product. The first two that I mentioned were products that allows you to create videos and export them, and you can upload them to your Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, etc. Story is a different story, <laughs> uh, which allows you to create web stories that you can embed on your website. So this, for example, is my website. There's a link in the description so you can check it out yourself with more details. But here I also added a few stories to my website. As you can see, this is an example here uh, where you can see that this story has been embedded on my website. These are different stories. And when I go back to them, look at this. It runs automatically, as you can see here. When I go to the top here, uh, when you look at this, do you see this? It automatically goes to the next slide. You can configure this, etc. Uh, another thing that you can do is run standalone story websites with story. Uh, but I think the coolest thing is to just show you how it works. But before I do so, I want to mention that all the details are on my website, all the possible upgrades as well. You can check them out yourself here. And you're going to get some very cool bonuses as well if you pick this up through my link. And the first one is QRverse white label, which means uh, that you can brand this as your own product here and resell, create and update and manage unlimited users inside of your account. You're going to get a bunch more bonuses, so make sure to check that out. All right, let's dive into this and let me show you how you can create web stories. So right now I'm logged into the dashboard and basically you manage everything here from the top uh, where you can create a new story. You have your stories here on this page. As you can see, I've created these stories inside my account. You have the templates that you can choose from, your media that you have uploaded, and you can find some businesses inside of your account or business finder. Uh, you can uh, find work on this website as, as well, but I'm going to show you that in a few seconds. Now, a cool thing that I want to mention from the beginning is that you can create different workspaces. So you can see here, uh, I have one workspace, but I can create new workspaces or I can create uh, stories for different clients as well. All right, let's choose one of the templates. So when I go to templates here, you get an overview of all the available templates inside of Story. Now, one of the cool things that I want to mention uh, with Story is that you do not have any render time uh, with Content Reel, with Restory, etc. You had to render your videos. When you create a video with Story, it's immediately finished and you can add this to your website. So as you can see, these are all the available templates that you can choose from. And I have access to the front end, so you're going to get access to all these templates as well. Uh, but you can simply pick one and then you can start working with it. So let's say I want to do something with sports, with fitness. I like this one, for example, here. Let's use this template. I'm going to call this fitness two. I'm going to create a story and now it's opening the story builder for us. Now, as you can see here, uh, this is the story builder here, which has uh, different slides here at the top. So you have here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven slides and each slide you can modify yourself. You can upload your own images, you can add your own text and it works really easy. So let's say you want to replace this background image. We're going to right click this, we're going to click delete because we want to have a video in here. Well, here at the right side, you have all the options. First of all, you can say you can add a color as a background, but in this case, I'd like to add a media file here at the left side. So you can choose here from images, GIF files or videos. I like to add a video. So I'm going to do fitness in here and I'm going to search for the free database of fitness videos, as you can see here. So these are free videos. You can see the media library here as well, where you can upload your own videos. But let's say you want to have this video in here. Then you can simply click on it. You can add this to your story overview here and you can uh, align it here. So let's say this is a story. Now you can right click this and you can send this to the back and look at this. Now you have your first slide replaced with your own footage. So you can upload your own footage as well 
or you can use the existing library. Now, there are more options. If you want to go to the second slide, you go to the second slide. You can do exactly the same. So if you want to add, want to add this one, simply remove the background here, delete this one, and you can do exactly the same. You can also do it like this, for example, so that you won't fill the whole sheet. And look at this, looks beautiful for a second slide. And you can go through each slide here at the bottom. Also, you can add slides before you can delete a slide. You can duplicate a slide or a page. You can go to the next one. So this is the next one and you can add all these elements. So let me go over them. First of all, you have the template section in here. So when you click on this template section, uh, you can choose from the templates that are available inside the account. Now, Right now they're working on these templates, uh, but basically, oh, there they are. Uh, you can choose from all the available templates. Now in each template here, you have five slides, you have five slides, you have five slides, you have five slides. Do you see that? In this one, you have six slides. So if you wanna add an extra slide, you simply click on this one and you can see the six new slides in the same style. So simply pick one that you like. So let's say you wanna use this one. You're gonna click on done. And then right now, this slide has been added as an extra slide and you can add your elements to this story. Now, the next option is to add text. Works really simple. You click on it and now it has been added to your slide and you can start modifying the text here on the right side. You have all the available options here at the right side. So let me move myself to the left so that you can see it here. So for example, if you want to have the font to be white, you can change that. Uh, all other options here, like the font types here, there are a bunch of fonts that you can choose from. Uh, simply pick one uh, and then start working with it. And now it's a bit too big, so we make this wider, as you can see here. Uh, but you can change everything on here, the stroke colors, the colors of the font, even the alignment in here, and you can also animate this. So uh, on the first slide, you cannot animate, but when you go to the second slide, you select the text here, for example, and you can say, I wanna have a fade in here, or a drop, or a fly in bottom, or fly in from the top. Let's say I wanna do fly in from the left, then it will fly in from the left, on the end result. So you can add effects to your story as well. Well, inside of the media here, I already showed you that. So you can go for videos, you can search for GIF files. If you like to add a GIF file, uh, you can search for images. So if you like to add fitness in here, uh, you simply type fitness and you can use all of these images available inside of your account. Also, you can add audio. I really like to add audio to my video. So I'm going to delete this part. I'm going to click the lead in here. Oh, this is my grammar software. I'm going to delete in here. Um, let me see here, delete. And now when I want to add music, I can go to my media library here at the bottom. I'm not sure if you've seen that. I was on top of it. Anyway, you can upload your own media here. So it does not come with music. I'm going to give you 100,000 music tracks as well if you get this through my link. Uh, but here, let's use this example. So I've uploaded these two tracks. So when you listen to this, I think this is a cool one for this story. So I'm going to select this audio and now you have the option. Do you want to add this audio to the slide or to the story? So you can add this to a specific slide or to the whole story. In this case, I want to add this to the whole story. Now, then we have more options. You can add elements as well. So you could go for stickers. And then when you click on see all, you can see all the stickers that are inside of your account emojis. So when you click on see all, you can see the emojis that are available. Uh, and that's for each category. So solid shapes here. I like these abstract shapes. You can use them to make your, your uh, stories to, to pop out like uh, elements like this one here. Now it's it's black as you can see, but you can add this to the top, for example, and then add text to the left. Uh, and then once you click on this and you go to the design tab in here, uh, you can also change the color. So for example, if you wanna add this, if, if, um, an orange color in here, let's go the same style as the slide is in here. Uh, you can do this as well. So now you can add this to the bottom here. Uh, let's make it like this or make it at the background here. Uh, then you can set the opacity of this. So let's make this um, here. Oh, sorry, the stroke color first. I need to change this. Let me see here to orange. Now let's take this to orange here and set the opacity here less. 
and then you can send this to the back backwards and you can send this backwards here send backwards so you need to do this a few times to layer it correctly as you can see here uh, but it's just elements that you can add to your slides if you like to uh, next one here is engage this is also a cool function so let me go to the last slide here and let me um, remove the background uh, because you can add buttons to your stories here you can add polls you can add uh, bigger polls here quizzes so let's say you want to add a poll you simply click on this and you can add your questions so uh, how many times uh do you uh, sport and then this won't be a correct spelling but you got the the id uh one time per week and then we do here two two times a week two times a week and then you can add some more you get an extra option you can say uh, three to five times per week something like this and you can add a poll to this slide here and you're going to have this and when people fill this out they see the results immediately as well so that's a nice feature that i'm going to show you at the end and then there's also an option here which is text to image uh, where you simply type something and let's say we're going to create a new slide uh, here i really like this one and this is basically an ai image editor uh, so let's say i want to do a beautiful uh, nature um, uh, with still water between mountains and then foggy and purple uh, purple 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 accents something like this and then you can search basically what it's going to do it's going to create the images for you so depending on how good your prompt is uh, in this case i should have done something with fitness but i know that this nature wants is easier to generate as you can see here so these are these nature images that he created on the fly for you and you can add these to your slides look at this here so this is a nature image that you can add to your story here uh, and then you know, you have your own images that you can create for any kind of niche or whatever you would like to create. And then at the right side here, uh, you can set the brightness, things like this. You can change the saturation, uh, all other things, some blurry if you like to make uh, images blurry. So all different kind of uh, effects you can add also to your stores. Now, in this case, I'm going to delete this one because this doesn't make sense. I'm going to show this one because of the example. And then... Uh, I can click on preview so when i click on preview it's going to save my story it's going to open a new page and look at this this is the story that we created now this one wasn't really nice what i did here but it's the id so i can go through the story and look at the background how that changes and these pages can be run on your own domain and look at the background how beautiful the background colors with the images as you can see here so when i go to the next story the background changes in here look at this one look at this one and let's go to the poll here at the end here how many times do you do you sport per week should be something like this but let's say i'm going to do two times a week it's 100 percent so the next one we'll see when they do one time per week they will see 50 50 percent so this is a very cool feature that's been added to the stories as well uh, now how can you publish this when you click on publish here at the top you have the option to give this a title so we're going to do fitness story and um, you can add your own logo if you'd like to you can set your language in here add your favicon you can also add a thumbnail uh, you can go to the next you can add meta text to this so let's call fitness and the value as well i'm going to click next you can add tracking ids to your pages as well so this google analytics tracking facebook pixel id click on next and here it says your length looks good your title is okay your story is enough text for search engine and now you click on publish now here you get the embed codes here that you can add to your website so that's exactly the code that i've added to my website here so that you can embed these stories like you're seeing right here um, so you can embed this as an html in an html block or you can run this on a custom domain so first of all you can get their domain so you can use their domain so when i click copy and i open a new tab and i paste this in here look at this this is the story here right now 
And uh, you can run this on their domain, but you can also run this uh, on your own domain. When you click on add domain here, you're able to add your own domain as well. So that means that you can run people directly to your own fitness story pages like you're seeing right here. Now, one of the things that's powerful here is when we go to the second slide, for example, or let's say the this slide here. So this one has been done with swipe up. So for example, Instagram, you need to swipe up it in order to see the ad. Another thing that you can do here is when you go to elements in here, you can also go back here. No, it's not elements, it's media. Let's see here. Um, boom, 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 boom. Is it media? No, engage here, sorry, the engage. You can add your button in here. So when I click on here, click here, I can add this button. So let's say uh, we want to add this here at the bottom. You can say buy here. So this is a call to action and you do HTTPS timverdow.com here, boom. And now every button that you're going to add to your story. So let's say I'm going to go to the next page and I'm doing a new button here. This button will automatically be linked to timverdow.com as well. So when you publish your story and you visit your story here, so we're going to preview your story. Let's refresh this screen. You will notice now that on the next slide here, there's a buy now button here. When I click on this, it's going to my website. So you can sell directly on your page. This is a better example here. Click here, it opens a pop-up, click here, and it will open a website. So you can sell directly uh, through your stories as well. You also can generate a QR code here where you can, uh, yeah, you can paste on anything. Basically, people scan this and they will be going directly to your story page, to this page here uh, where you have your story active. And then also a short link. Uh, if you like to use their links, you can use this link immediately. Uh, let me see. One thing that I didn't mention yet is inside of the builder here. Uh, let me see if I can make this a bit smaller. Yes. Here you have also the auto advance. When I click this, I can say waiting or video ends. But let's say when the video is waiting, I can say for each three seconds here, when I apply this to all, after three seconds, the first slide will be ended and we we'll go to the next slide. So it will automatically play each slide for three seconds. Uh, very cool feature, which I really like. So let's get rid of this background. Let, let me put it in here to make it a little bit cool. Well, let's delete it. So let's preview this one more time. So you can see how it works. So right now here, yeah, when the preview always starts from where it was. So here you can see it runs at the top here and it's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So it immediately goes to the next slide automatically with that option in here. And one thing that I forgot to mention is we've also added music. So if we, if we preview, let me refresh this and we enable the music, listen to us here. So that's pretty cool, right? And that's possible with Story. Now, if you're interested in getting Story, check out the link in the description of this video. We'll redirect you to my website here where you can see more information about Story. If I'm correct, it starts for $37 for the front end. It has some upsells, some upgrades, available upgrades, and this one also comes with a bundle deal. Uh, and make sure you use Tim Bundle to get $50 off the price. Very important. And also for the front end, if you like to get that, uh, there is a Tim special coupon, which will give you $2 discount on the front end. Hey, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, make sure to ask them in the comments below. Uh, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Make sure you have your notifications enabled so you get notified. And please hit a thumbs up if this video was useful for you. Hey, thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you in my next video. Talk soon. Cheers.